dear friends welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so today i am with another passing package video for the mechanical engineering students so the subject name is basic thermodynamics btd its subject code is bme304 okay so it is for those students who are under vtu okay maybe for the autonomous colleges it may be the same syllabus so they can accordingly compare okay so uh, in this uh, particular subject there are some passing modules which i will discuss in this particular video so stay connected with me till end so that i will give you the passing package and the important questions which i have mentioned okay here so let's take the first passing module that is module first okay so state zeroth's law of thermodynamics and explain how it is considered as a basis of temperature measurement this is the super important question and i have marked super important questions in this okay you should give more preference to these questions apart from the rest of the questions okay so next one is with the neat sketch explain the working of uh, this is the constant volume gauge thermometer constant pressure gauge thermometer mercury in glass thermometer so uh, in this first one is the super important one okay so you should focus on the construction part as in the video examination if you draw the construction neatly so rest of the theory you can write it in your own words so that doesn't matter uh, too much than the uh, construction part next is the write the sign convention for work and heat also give comparison between heat and work this is again an important question this may be the possibility in the examination next is what is thermodynamic definition of work give some examples and limitations and also expressions for displacement to work as for especially for the adiabatic process they will ask as most of most of the times uh, vt is asking this question that is uh, derive the expression for the displacement work in adiabatic process with pv diagram and also isobaric process sometimes they will give and isochoric process these are little bit uh, derivations were there so you should go through and much more preference you should give to the adiabatic process okay next is the numericals on the temperature measurement scales and relationship very simple problems are there only you should try to recognize the questions were there and list out the temperature measurement methods so this is all about the model first this may be the possibility these questions will come in the examination definitely okay which i have marked over here so this is the model one you should cover it so that you can uh, tackle this subject okay you can handle this subject with ease <clears throat> next passing module first i will discuss the passing modules only so first uh, sorry module 3 is again a mo passing module in this so in which you have to cover second law of thermodynamics which consists of two statements one is kelvin planck statement and another is Clausius statement okay next one is the definitions of uh, perpetual motion um, motion machine first kind and perpetual motion machine uh, second kind okay these are the definitions part which you should go through and next super important question is state and prove Clausius inequality and limitations of the first law of thermodynamics okay again a super important one next is uh, show that Kelvin Planck statement is equivalent to Clausius statement it is the most important one dear friends you should go through and next is show that the entropy is a property so next possible question uh, may be the defined reversible and irreversible process what are the ca causes of irreversibility and what is internal and external irreversibility sometimes they will give the question like this okay next is what is reversal heat engine mention the factors which uh, render a process irreversible okay next super important question is state and prove principle of increase of entropy okay most of the times video has asked this question so you should not neglect it and also uh, if you are convenient with the numerical problems so you should go through the numericals on heat engine most of the problems are there as this btd is a subject uh, which is a 60 40 i can say that means 60 will be the theory part and 40 will be the problematic part but sometimes it is opposite maybe the 50 50 okay as you are already knowing how the vt is setting the papers over there okay so you should not neglect at all uh, numericals uh, itself next <clears throat> passing module is the mo module fifth okay so fifth module uh, in which you have to cover explain the following compressibility compressibility chart compressibility factor law of corresponding states and reduced properties this is the uh, super important question in this module fifth okay next uh, some definitions you have to prepare like dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature dew point temperature specific humidity and relative humidity okay next is uh, the define and explain dalton's law of partial pressures and amagate's law of uh, additive volumes were there okay and next super important question is uh, derive van der waals constant in terms of critical properties and also you have to go through this expression derive an expression for internal energy and enthalpy of gaseous mixtures next possibility will be derive the expressions for specific heat at constant pressure and constant volume for mixture of gases okay so next next is the with the usual notation write the betty bridgman equation okay and uh, difference between ideal gas and real 
a real gas and explain Clausius Kelly-Prawn equation. So let me take uh, tell you some joke over here. When I was preparing in the third sum this uh, particular equation, we were called it the Betty Padau Betty Padau equation like that. Okay, so it is Bet Bridgman equation over there. Fine. So this is all about the passing modules. <coughs> So next is module second if i will discuss here so in the module second you have to focus on state first law of thermodynamics for closed system also illustrate joule's experiment okay this is the most important one and sometimes they will ask you uh, state first law of thermodynamics for cyclic and non-cyclic processes okay fine so next is show that internal energy is a property of a system this is your super important question in this module second next is the modes of energy that means microscopic and microscopic energy mode you have to explain this and also you have to go through the problems on sfee that means steady flow energy equation which will definitely help you in uh, scoring the module second over there okay as uh, little bit theory concepts are in this module second so that is why i didn't mark it, it as passing module as most of the students are preferring theory only so show that another question show that work and heat are path functions write the steady flow energy equation indicating all the terms in the uh, equation over there okay next is apply steady flow energy equation for they will give you suppose parts like boiler nozzle centrifugal pump and throttling device and turbine so for these five devices you can say that you have to apply steady flow energy equation to get the required equation over there for these okay which i mentioned <clears throat> so this is all about module second then if we go through the module 4 you have to cover some important questions like uh, definitions of available energy unavailable energy irreversibility and second law of efficiency next which is the most important and it will be in the or part with a neat sketch explain the working of combined separating throttling calorimeter okay combined separating and throttling calorimeter and sometimes with a neat sketch explain the working of only throttling calorimeter so you should care of it with the hs diagram and next is a super important question is uh, explain the terms like triple point critical point subcooled liquid quality of steam dryness fraction and maximal relation relations fine so next important may be draw a phase equilibrium diagram for water on pv coordinates and indicate relevant parameters on it next draw and explain the salient features of pt diagram with water as an example this i call it super important question okay draw and explain the salient features of pt diagram with water as an example so <clears throat> next uh, if uh, you are convenient with these uh, problems in the module fourth so you should go through dear friends whatever the problems you are convenient you should go accordingly okay i cannot tell you the exact problems just because in vtu examination we cannot predict the problems problems are always different okay so but for uh, some subjects uh, problems are repeated but uh, most of the times uh, they didn't repeat the problematic part numerical part so whichever is easy for you people go through i can just prefer you the module fifth problems and also uh, module uh, here sorry yes uh, model 2 problems okay you can go through and whichever is the convenient rest uh, of the things depends upon you so go through and all the best for your examinations my dear friends so it is already written over here so i don't need to tell it okay so all the best uh, and my dear friends share this video to all your friends who actually needed it and it is the subject where most of the students are struggling okay so thanks for watching my video